Hello and welcome again. Today is an overcast, rainy day. Just nasty. It's cold. It's 54 or something. And uh, over here, if we look, yep, there's the solar panels. Not much sun hitting them. Let's go look inside now in the garage, see what the inverters are producing. As you can see, we've got nearly 1,700 watts on the top inverter and just about the same on the bottom. So that's 3.2 kilowatts. So can we charge our electric car generating this much electricity? Let's go see. Here's the wall connector. Let's go ahead and plug the Model Y in and just see what we can do. All right, let's go have a look inside now. Remember, we're generating right around 3,200 watts. All right, we're in the car here now. We're plugged into the wall connector. As we can see, we're drawing 12 kilowatts. We don't have 12 kilowatts when we look at to see exactly how much is coming in on the inverters. We only have 3,200 watts. So how do we adjust that? Here's how. You adjust the charge current. Okay, and this is on every Tesla. You just reduce it. I think, uh, let's see, 247, 3200, I think that'll be about 13 amps. Yep, it's right at 3 kilowatts. I would bet we're pretty close to 3200 watts. So what's this showing us? With an overcast condition, the solar system is only generating 3200 watts. Can I charge my electric car in the overcast condition as we saw? Absolutely. At 3 kilowatts, to get it past 50% up to the 80% mark or whatever, says about 6 hours. That's okay. We're here on this super overcast day. It's gray as ever. It's uh, just a little past noon here. Solar panels are generating on the order of between 1.7 and 2 kilowatts. The house is using about 800 watts. And of course, the balance is flowing into the power walls for use later on once the sun goes completely down. Thanks for watching this short video. I'll look for you again and take care.